Oh, well, that's a bit crap, isn't it? We've got the same team, except he's got 200 more TV. I guess that means I get a wizard, though. Or maybe a crazy star. Um, two blitters and a Crocs. Fluffy burrito. <laughs> Amazons, well. Fucking Amazons. Yeah. This is this is what uh, Happy Grew on Fumble. The start the Happy Grew uses. And I think I got an Apple after the first game. So yeah, two blitters and a Two Blitters and a Crocs. Uh, what's he gone with? He's got two Blitzers, three Blitzers, a Movement Dodge. Oh god, what is this? He hasn't taken Dodge. Diving Catch, Sure Feet, Sprint, Movement, but not Dodge. What the fuck? 1 3, lost 4, fair enough. Um, block, block, guard, block. It's going to be rough, isn't it? Just because he's got the skills to pay the bills. Can't even see. He might get a star instead of a wizard, actually. But wizard's devastating with slan, isn't it? But then, I mean, I'm not going to leap. I'm just really not going to leap. I'm agility three team. I'm not gonna fucking leap. So, got no block. Got no strength. Got no guard. If he's if he's foolish enough to carry with his catcher, I guess I can leap. Right, hundred and ninety. I'd probably get a stab stab, don't I? No, hemlock, that's what I was thinking. Hemlock. Might be better than a wizard, actually. Movement 8, blodger. Sidestepper. Twelfth player, reserve. But the wizard can just win the game, can't it? That's the thing. Mm, it's not easy. <laughs> Fair enough, cast. Um, helmet, no, they're just the model. They haven't got the proper model yet. Hemlock's not bad, is it? Like 16 turns of Hemlock. Or one turn of a wizard. Um... The wizard is really good, though. Silly Billy. If only I had more money. Yeah, fuck it. Wiz Wizard's probably the right call, isn't it? Wizard's never really wrong. You need fun in your life. He is movement 8 with dodge, which is good, but... Yeah. Wizard's probably just too good, isn't it? To be fair. Glorious! Glorious! The Great Lurker is still here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandhill, for the resub. Six months, wowee. Thank you for staying fantastic. The Great Lurker is still here. Thank you very, very much for the resub, wowee. Stay fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> you don't need a whiz. Yeah, maybe I should have gone Hemlock, eh, just to get the extra player. Maybe I should have gone Hemlock then. Um, because if you're down a lot of men, the wizard won't help much. So yeah, maybe I should have just gone. Maybe I should have gone hemlock. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat a little bit. God, he's, he's letting the time run out every time. 
Hello, the underscore cheesemonger, 1978. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I should have gone. I guess I should have gone Hemlock for the 12th. 12th man of reliability. Or even just like a Merc Blitzer with block? Maybe. Oh my god, one of the comments on that guy's screen, I just saw it, was the AI cheats on this game. Oh man. Oh man. And now I've, now I've lost the chat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you got to love it when people com people complain about the, the AI cheating in Blood Bowl, haven't you? Wow. Maybe you're saying, does the AI cheat in this game? I'll give, I'll give, the, I'll give the random guy in chat the benefit of the doubt. But there was there was some variety streamer that I saw playing against the AI, and he had he had like two thousand five hundred TV Wood Elves, and you know so he played a fair amount against the AI, and he just you know just didn't do a didn't do a single thing right, and I was like how do you how do you manage that? To have played that many games, it was surprising. It surprised me, to say the least. And seeing as blitzers aren't really blitzers, I can just carry with one. Scoreless, yeah, he couldn't win. He literally couldn't beat the AI with 2,000 TV woodies. Or like 2,400 TV woodies. I was like... And I was like trying to help him. And... I don't know if he chimed me out or if he fully banned me. But he, he didn't like me trying to help. And I was like... I don't know, maybe I'm just an asshole when I try to help. But uh, I, re I really tried. God, this that's a pretty horrible kickoff against fucking Kislev, isn't it? Holy shit. Gotta make two blocks as Bill before real I don't have to. But one two. You are always an asshole, Jimmy. Less than three. <laughs> Less than three. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. I try not to be. I really try not to be. Oh, I've got a bit of a bit of a formation here. He could surf that guy with fucking leaps and shit. Alright, I've obviously got to reroll the pickup if I fail. Again, slam. Because they're like they're like shit scaven, basically. Oh my god, hot bear on bear action. I mean, he can't leap in there, can he? So that's, that's actually worked out a pretty nice formation to protect the ball. There. That's all in a lie. Bit harsh. 
No catches, no. Um, I copied, I copied uh, Battle Battle Frogs on Fumble is the team, and Happy Grew is the coach. And he's played a lot more slam than I have. And uh, he started, he started without catches. And Tara Barala starts without catches too. Now, on the other hand, um, Wreckage, who's played a lot of slam, he likes catches. He starts with catches, and I don't think he ever takes blitzers. Um, so you know that I'm not saying this is the right way to build them, because but Happy Grew and Tara Barale, you know, I just went with I went with what they take really, rather than um, trying to trying to work it out myself. Yeah, it's a Crocs, yeah. Yeah, this Christmas boy kids love you, absolutely. They're the absolute Christmas man team, aren't they? Unbelievable. Yeah, Crocs and two blitzers, yeah. There you go, that's why I should have gone with them. Um, that's why I should have gone with the reserve, isn't it? First block gets a removal. Well, not, a, not even a removal card. Yeah, I should have gone. I should have gone Hemlock. <sighs> Fuck. Now nah, the bro the pros on Fumble don't usually have a Baron Four catches at all. The pros on Fumble are literally, are literally Tara Barala and Happy Group. And if you want wreckage. And wreck wreckage goes more catches, but the other two don't. So there's really no, there's really, really no consensus on on, on slam. Oh wow, he's given us the surf, which is glorious. So he goes there, he blocks him. I don't even need to block him. I just put a guy here. Blitz there, push into there, then he blitz, then he surfs in, and then he can save himself as well afterwards. Yeah, exactly. There's there's tons. You can't you can't really say that the the pros do this or this is the best slam roster. You know, there's so many different there's so many different things people do with slam, um, and so many different things you can do with slam. I wouldn't like to say one was the right way or the more popular way even. Power him here, don't I? Actually, I just realised. I just realised I had to power him then, but never mind. Got it. Should be safe from any crazy leaping shenanigans there. Pros. I mean, they're not pros, are they? They're not pros on Fumble, are they? But yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about box. Yeah, wreckage. I don't know if wreckage. I think wreckage plays in box with um, slams. So, whereas Happy Group plays ranked. Up. No, Tara Barala plays ranked. I think. With them.
Well, Tara Baral honestly, Tara Barala starts with four, four blitzes, so... I can't hit on... I can't hit on any, on any, uh, any, any slam build. He probably just read something on Fumble, to be fair, he probably never used slam. Probably, he probably hasn't played a single game with it. Just read something on the internet. Copy Blood Bowl tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But um, yeah, I, I've I've just copied uh, Happy Groom mostly. Yeah. I'll hold my hands up. I'm not an expert. Oh, no, he's played quite a few with Slam. To be fair, he played like hundred. And 150 games with Slam. 160 games with Slam. So there you go. So he's played a fair few with Slam, to be fair. But um, also, you see, the thing is, uh, the thing is with with Sages, of course, he is a dirty. Oh, what's this? Fuck off. Um, the thing with Sages, he's a dirty cherry cherry picker, isn't he? He's an absolute. Filthy, massive cherry picker. So, um, you've got to bear that in mind. Which of these are the catches? Can blitz him, block him, block him, block him. Oh my god, fuck off, you knobhead. What the fuck is this shit? Block him. And then I can't assist there. Could block there. Follow and then blitz him and just stand up the bear. Yeah, stand up the bear. Then it's safer, isn't it? Oh, fuck. No, it's not. Could accept a both down here, I think. But then with three rerolls, why, why do that? I guess I actually should have pushed him down because he's he's he'd probably get his guy surf, won't he? If I uh, push down the flank, he'll probably open up his guys to get surfed. You know he does have jump up, doesn't he? So um, I could get surfed with a leap there. So let's not do that. So now if he leaps in there, it's a, you have to leap in this way to get a one dice, which I couldn't really do. Oh, I should have just dodged away here, I'm going to get punched by his fucking crocs. How would I just how would I describe myself in the community? I don't know. Fantastic. I don't know what you I don't understand the question. Just a general filthy. I'm not I, I guess I'm a filthy min maxer, right? But at least at least min maxing is fair in black box, you know? In black box you're getting matched on TV. So you make the most efficient TV team you can. Um but being a filthy cherry picker means that not only do you min max, you also pick on people who have no chance of beating you. Or limited chance of beating you. Which is uh, pretty lame, isn't it? Could leap for the surf. It's a pretty, pretty big deal, Ducky, because they're like. They don't have dodge, do they? So they're strength two. The strength two without dodge. They're like the only strength two players without dodge. Bold statement, isn't it? Is that right? Are they the only strength two players without dodge? Or oh, like chainsaws and stuff. But um... no, it's 
So he's being a mad cunt, isn't he? Wants another player to serve. It's only turn four, so I can serve. Alright, his, his bear went dumb. That's good. His bear can run away. Try to surf this guy. Nope. <laughs> well, yeah, technically they're humans now, I guess. <laughs> but being the only, um... yeah, you can't, you can't. I mean, that's unfair to call them humans, isn't it? Because they are slow. So, oh, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? Now with this this guy being double paced. And now having dodge is actually good, isn't it? Because uh, because his blitzer has diving tackle, but I can just leap away on a three plus instead of having to dodge away on a five plus. Pretty fucking handy. I guess go here next to the clock then. I do have the star player card. Oh no, it's not actually it's not actually ready yet. Oh no, that's that's my orb. Um because actually what I would like is um jam toast to uh redo it because now they're gold, aren't they? Now they look now they look a lot better than you uh the new the new cards look a lot better with gold, don't they? Oh god he faced the ball. Fucking hell. I mean, that, that's the one bad thing, I guess it would have been harder to base it if I'd uh, stayed away. Yeah, Slan are fragile. Yeah, Slan aren't reasonably sturdy. They're, they're, they're like... Because when you compare them to similar teams, Ducky, they're like most similar to Chaos. <laughs> Except they don't have Strength 4 and they don't have Armour 9. Because... You know, they're a team without block. Without any block. There's not many teams without any block. They usually... Uh... There's a Claw, yeah? Because Claw Pom, it was the Jimmy Fantastic, the best the best Chaos Warrior that I ever had. It was, uh, was Jimmy Fantastic. Funnily enough. Vamps. Okay, I guess. But Vamps are a team of Armour 7, and these are a team of Armour 8. So yeah, if you if you compare them to if you compare them to vamps, then um, then yeah, they're quite survivable. But if you compare them to real teams, <laughs> they're not very survivable. Okay. Just gonna have to two dice this guy with the cross. I just think I have to. Loan a block. Got a chain. He could blitz and then chain him out. That's probably better, isn't it, actually? It's getting a bit fucking dodgy though, isn't it? With all these leaps possible now. Get 
forward next turn. This actually stops some two dice in that Crocs. So while I'd love to make that leap and then assist and two dice him, I have to stop him hitting my Crocs, don't I? He's got guard as well, maybe I'll go up here. Stop him getting guard. No, I would love to. I would love to have done a crazy surf, but he had based the ball with a croxigar, to be fair. And I guess the, the tail doesn't do anything, but still, I thought, I'd, let's sort out the ball. Safe moves first. Obviously, triple surf would have been glorious, but it would take dice rolls, wouldn't it? Especially with a the loner there. Yeah, he's still strength five, though, isn't he? With guard. Like, guard is pretty, pretty, uh, you know, good. <laughs> Struggling with the English again. And it's a little bit dodgy going for the triple surf with the uh, blitzers having jumped up, isn't it? But he's doing a good job of defending here somehow, despite despite opening himself up to getting surfed every turn. Um, I guess it's because he's got the crocs near the ball. I guess that's what makes it so frightening. And I've I'm, I'm punched up, punched up too much by having to blitz there. I didn't have to blitz. I could have risked the two dice, and then I would have blitzed out here and moved up. And here, that's where I want to be, isn't it? So, um, it's not easy at the moment. He's not afraid to make a two dice buff. Got a wizard. There you go. This is the way I can lose this game when it's happening. Pretty annoying. There's four guys free. I think the play is just to uh, run around to the middle. So I'm too fucking boxed in here, aren't I? Now he's obviously set up for his leap in, but what the fuck else can I do? And fucking crops in as well. Unless I just eat another mighty blow block from him. Three rerolls. Oh fuck me.
Yeah, the thing is though, dice when? I mean, it's the thing that interests me the most, is the mixed teams. Um, <laughs> so, that's the problem, isn't it? Like, sure, you know, you're aware that most people are going to be using goblins and halflings and what have you. But, if you want to, uh, if you want to play mixed, then there's nowhere else to play, really, is there? So, it'd be better if there was a mixed and custom team one or something. Somewhere you could just play the mixed ones. But then no one's going to play a normal team, are they? No one's going to play, like, you know, undead or whatever. So, I don't know. I mean, outside of leagues, it's probably the only chance people are going to get to play mixed teams. So, I think it's all right, to be honest. Yeah, he was obviously going to blitz cross. It's so I'm so pissed off that I didn't take Emla. Obviously can't even think about dodging away. But then have to. Because it just bases people and what can you do? Like they're a horrible team. They're a fucking horrible team, Kislev, to be honest. <laughs> just quietly, everything's a 3 plus with no skills. That's just fucking shit, isn't it? That was a very poor play by him, it just doesn't achieve anything. Everybody's base is already based. I'm going to have to dodge away from the ball. And when I say dodge, I mean leap. That was good. <laughs> leap and still still <laughs> remain in contact with it. There, I guess that's where you this want to finish. I'm on the race. Boop, boop, boop. Leap, blitz. Hopefully get cover for him. It's fucking horrible. Horrible. Fuck In there. And now it's down to a million three plus rolls. That doesn't even do anything, does it? Should I put in there something? Should I put in here? No. I just didn't do anything. That was shit. Horrible. Fucking horrible. Taking two, Kaz. That was really bad though that I did an irrelevant one first, so I wasted my three plus on a basically pointless move. Well not even basically a completely pointless move. So that was my bad play. Should have done the wrong guy first. Still not too easy to get two dice, is it? He'd have to GFI twice or he'd have to leap or something.
Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing. The the mixed. The, it's it's going to be most people's only chance to use the mis, the mixed teams in like in a normal ladder, isn't it? Because maybe they'll be on open. I think they should be on open because otherwise, when are you ever going to use them? There you go. Just gets a smooth power flat. Well, it's a four plus because you have block, but um, it's bollocks in it. Really? Fucking really? From here to here. That seems fair, doesn't it? But it was my, my fault for not being three away. And for dodging that guy first. And getting this guy cast. Oh, that, that's his guy. Hold him so that he doesn't score on my drive. Guess that's all I can do. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, GFI. He's in range, even if I fucking bolt him. Sprint show feet. Unless I break armor, he's in range. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Waiting for a point. Good. Good. Pretty good bolt, to be fair. Pretty good bolt. Can't complain about that. Right, surely there's a way to surf this guy. GFI there. Stand him up. Block him. Blitz with the crocs. Blitz with the crocs first. Is he in the I'm not going to fucking score a touchdown. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good ball. Right now, now for the touchdown. There you go. I mean, it was had to have been like a long bomb to him, and then a handoff to one of these, and then score. I thought it was so low; it was better to go for the go for damage. So at least I didn't concede on my drive because of the wizard. And to be fair, it was a huge re removal. He didn't even apple it. So now it's nine of sound, or maybe nine of sound. Something here.
Yeah, they do, don't they? I mean, the good thing is that his offense is going to be hard as well. Like, Slan are a lot better on defense than offense. So... Yeah, that is pretty good. I agree. Oh, don't kill my bear. Did he even have an app? Just didn't use it. Madman. Oh, I got a bribe, should have done a foul. I guess. Nah, save it for the second half. Because if he spunks his bribe now, feel you'll feel bad, won't he? Oh. Right, my equipment. Oh yeah, the orcs, yeah. The orcs, the orcs is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the orc is definitely the best one. Yeah, to be fair, the the orc is is undoubtedly the best the best GFI player. Surprised the kill woke up to, with woke up to be honest. So there you go, eight versus uh, eight versus nine. It's not that bad. Could still win nil nil. Yeah, to be fair, the crocs the crocs have claw, don't they? Crocs the crocs should have claw, really. So yeah, he does have block and strength five players. That's true. Strength five players with guard. I mean, it's really huge. Even even just him having two block now, he did have three, but just even two block makes makes such a fucking big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, the bare bone heads. It's all right. P. Diddy. Right, all men's LOS, let's do this. Morg should the sa Morg's got a fucking sword on his uh, on his glove, hasn't he? <laughs> it's fucking dumb, isn't it? <clears throat> Mork's still worth getting sometimes, though. Like, he is string 6 and armor 10. He's hard to deal with for some teams. 
Well, one of them was a one of them was a retiring, but yeah. It could be worse. It could always be worse, couldn't it? That's the thing with Blood Bowl. No matter how bad it is, it could always be worse. <laughs> I don't think anyone's had like their entire team dead before, so He's great against Orcs. I think Orcs is the best thing for Morg. Yeah, movement. It's 66310. Um, block Mighty Blow. And then throw teammate stuff. So there you go. After I didn't give him any shots at the ball until the last turn, um, he gives me a two dice on the ball <laughs> on turn one. Fail the first three plus, fail the second three plus. Right. I think I'll just concede here because Clan Wars is starting on Cross Out very soon. And uh, it's just a waste of time, isn't it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything. Wizard's gone. Wizard's gone. I guess it won't take that long to play out now, though. Maybe I should move him back first. As a safety. I definitely should have done. But I wanted to concede <laughs> if I'd failed. Fuck, he just takes so long every turn. He just fucking. If he, if he goes through his turns at a speedy pace, I guess it's not so bad. But there's really almost no way. Almost no way out. No chance at all, is there? That's the thing. And why should you have this mentality of... Rah, 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 I never concede. I've never understood that. It's it's your time you're using, aren't you? And if you, if you don't want to... If you don't want to waste it, then why would you waste it? You know, like it's different in a in a private league or like a scheduled league with real humans where you're wasting their time and, you know, ruining the league and stuff is different to in a matchmaking like this where really, you know, in, 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 in snooker and that, people just concede the frame, don't they? It's no problem. In, in Hearthstone, people, people concede to save a few minutes. So, I just stand these guys up. Yeah, random rolls means the other guy will always have better rolls than you. Yeah. yeah, I honestly, I honestly do think conceding is fine. I mean, it depends because obviously, like, the streaming does change it a bit because, in one on one hand, 
when Lupak did his turn one concede against Dwarves, it was fair enough because, you know, he knows he's going to be pissed off and salty for the whole game. You know, and he, he knows he knows it's going to be bad for the stream. Not bad, not bad in that it wouldn't be entertaining, but bad in that he's just going to be salty as fuck, isn't he, for the next hour or whatever. So, um... So I was actually fine to be honest with 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 the Blood Bowl bad man conceding on turn one, <laughs> although like although the other guy, <laughs> although he was given the other people in the league shit for conceding and stuff. It's fair enough because like you know I've I've sat through games where I was really pissed off and I know it's no good for the stream or the YouTube or anything. So on the one hand, um, I think it's probably maybe it's even more justified when you're streaming because you really don't want, you know, to get in a bad mood and uh, and everything be crap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though, Pedro. Like, you know what I mean, though. Like, or if he's, if he's, yeah, I think Conceans are absolutely fine. But yeah, not in leagues. Yeah, That's, in a league, it's it's completely different because you're fucking up the league for everyone else there. But especially with the NAF, the NAF where there's no progression, um, then it's really all right. I think. Yeah, exactly, Desmond. Exactly. I mean, it's absolutely fine. I just wish he, this guy'd go faster. Because I mean, he, to be fair, it looks like he's given us a chance, doesn't it? Because how's he going to stall this turn? I don't really understand what his plan is. Prefer for Sandbox, we all have <laughs> Fair enough, PDO. Fair enough. And, like, obviously, if you don't concede, there's, there are sometimes miraculous comebacks, which are good. Oh, yeah, the beast moment, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's fair enough. Yeah. Exactly, Shattered Ice. That's the biggest thing, you know? The most valuable thing in the world is time, isn't it? Because nobody gets more. That's a pretty good model, isn't it? Nobody gets more. Even fucking Bill Gates don't get more time than anyone else, does he? Well, technically he does because he gets better medicine and what have you. But you know what I mean. To a point. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a GFI to one dice him. Or... Go for the leap for two dice. Do I go for two dice or one? I can push him into a one dice. Um, let's have a look at Samba. If I one dice him, it's a three plus five plus, isn't it? Three plus two plus five plus. Which is 40%. If I get an assist, then it's a three plus... 2 plus 3 plus, with 2 dice, it's 46%. So, the 2 dice is very much worth it. Which actually it takes away the GFI as well, doesn't it? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It takes away the GFI too. So way better to get two dice. And like you don't get crazy comebacks if you just concede. So like there's definitely something to be said for it there as well. But like it's really bad that he's got slam and he's just not protecting the ball at all. Camera move still pisses on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Right as well. Oh, God, should I just pass to him? 
Oh, he's a 33% in, so. Oh, yeah, of course, he's fucking slant, isn't he? He's got, he's got fucking very long legs. Could just pass it and, and go. But uh, probably not the best idea. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, just fuck it. Just go this way. Oh, God. Worked out pretty well. Don't cause you on your private phone. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty easy for him to get two dice on with block. Still. He's got no rerolls left. There's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance? There was a lot of three pluses that turn. Yeah. A lot of three pluses. And a five plus as well. Oh man, you feel the two plus? <laughs> Oh my god, there's a chance! I'd never concede, there's always a chance. <laughs> right, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can then block. These two can leap, he can leap. Make some kind of cage, or just blitz him and then go for the fucking. Just go for it. Go for the pass to a loner. A handoff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI handoff. And he's away. He's got to jump up though. Okay, just blitz him and see what happens. I guess I'm not going to escape now. Fuck it, let's go. I shouldn't have uh, made the two, should I? I don't actually want to uh, do it. I'll, I'll just eye cage it. What's cross out? Is that where you grab and sidestep cancel each other? <laughs> cross out is a very fun game where games take three minutes, which is quite different to this. So if I actually if I hadn't followed up, no, oh, wow, he's wasted his jump up. He could have just blocked him. Now he can't get two dice. So next turn I can just potato. It's definitely situational. I mean, if I wasn't streaming, I would have conceded to play cross out. 100%. And th this one, I, just because I really don't care if I win this game. You know, like, obviously I'd rather win. But um, I really wouldn't care that if, you know, if I lose or draw or win. It really doesn't matter. Holy shit, he can get two dice. He's got the fucking... Crocs? No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, this is too good. This is fucking too good. He's got. He's let me into it. What the fuck? Oh, 
Like, if he gets here, he can only base. He can only base. So if I blitz him and pow him, one, two, oh no, it doesn't matter about pow because he's got jump up. So I can't go on the sideline. But if I double GFI, um, he can only base. He might as well stand up. I don't really want to blitz with the uh, with the loner. What about him? Or one more. the armor break oh my god oh my god got the armor break pretty lucky he actually has to leap because of the diamond tackle rolling all the dice here <laughs> Hello, pseudo name. Yeah, six months. Thank you very much. You can only base. Oh my god. What the fuck has even happened this game? Come on, fail one of these. Oh, I guess he had to pass them eventually. I guess he can base these two though. It's pretty crazy how badly he played. To be honest. Like I know I was very lucky, but he was still he still gave us the chances, which was his bad play to give us the chances. Could still lose anyway, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just the loner leap, then blitz, and then score. Oh no, then go to the end. So it, it yeah, it's got to be loner leap because it just literally doesn't matter. There's no way I can get a two dice or anything other than a leap. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, failed. Oh, well. Yeah, if I'd had a reroll, then obviously I would have gone with. Uh, I would have gone with the a real player. But. That was obviously better than just leaping or dodging with the ball carrier. Pretty unlucky because I mean he had the he had a three two two to mark me to base the ball, um, and he made the three two two. It's the power, game over. Oh well, a draw from this I'll be happy with. Oh, if it goes in the crowd and comes out for him again, I'll be pissed. No, there might still be a chance. To be fair, it might still be a chance. Why leap to blitz and not just leap with the ball? Because, TLC, I mean, pretty obviously, that's why I didn't see it. Because if I leap with the ball and fail, the ball's on the floor and I'm fucked. Whereas now, he was only 55% to knock me over without a turnover. You know, by failing that, the failure state, isn't it? That's the thing. The failure state of leaping 
was this guy's down, which is uh, which isn't so bad, is it? It would have been ideal to have left with one of the blitzers because they've got jump up. Um, but seeing as I couldn't, you know, I'd rather I'd rather fail his leap than um, than fail the dodge. That was the thing. He, he could have just double scored that block, couldn't he? I just got a push on the block. Whereas. And I'm not, I know I added the one in nine of, of, fa of both downing on the block, but still. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a three plus, isn't it? I'd rather take the three plus the, where the failure didn't absolutely kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Croxigore is covered in fur. Right, is there a way? Can't outrun him. Don't want to make a 3 plus roll. I don't have to, so I could make blitters with ease afterwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. GFI, GFI. Could hit him and then base him, something like that. So, most important thing, just pick up the ball and run away. Supreme tail, tail, I think. It's a tail, isn't it? He's got the, he's got the skin. That's a, that's his skill. Maybe I should just base somebody. Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed. Maybe I should have just gone there to base one of them, and then moved him at the end and tried to base with him. I don't know, try to base him with him. I don't know. I guess there were a few things I could have done. For. Well, he can't, he can't make GFI. So now, you see, it was only 50, well, 75 to get him, wasn't it? But he would have ended the turn on 20% of the time. So it, this could be a both down or just a push. No, of course not. And he's in scoring range. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should have a reroll. Sticky honey hand. Yeah, I don't think you can call a chain prehensile even though you can just call it a chain. You could call it a chain. But yeah, right. Um, he could three plus. Three plus? To clear the tackle zone. He could 3 plus 3 plus to clear the tackle zone. And then it would be a 3 plus. I don't think that's better than 4 plus. Failed. Could have picked the old leap and dodged. 4 3 3 to win, wasn't it? 4 3 3 to win wasn't bad. To say how crazy it went in the, in the, by the end of the first half, but uh, I don't know. Did I choose? To, I think he chose to kick, which is a good call, to be honest, because I think they're a lot better on. Oh God, MVP and Kaz for the the journeyman. I think they're a lot better on defense. Dice were actually quite good. Twenty-five sixes, twenty-two fives. Leaps seventy-two, better than you would expect. Going for it's about the same. Failed all, past all the dodges. So it was really 19 passes and 5 failures, which is really good. Um, 5 out of 6 for the boneheads. And he actually... 57 of leaps. 11 out of 12 boneheads, though. Pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. He had more, rolled more 1s than 6s. So... 
funny, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? This, uh, this, I've just realised this doesn't work because it counts his injuries against me. So the six is th this is all irrelevant. I think I'm pretty sure this is completely irrelevant. Th this number of dice, I've just realised. But never mind. The Christmas man rolled a lot of pushes because they ain't got block. So. Didn't roll many skulls though. Five skulls, 14 pals. Did actually roll quite a lot of pals. He'd benefit more from his both downs. But he, I'd, I'd pre the stats say I had the better dice there, but um, just all those cars made it hard, didn't it? Very hard, taking all those cars. Right, he's going to get sacked with minus movement. And hopefully. And he's going to get sacked. Okay, it doesn't seem to be, doesn't appear to be working, sacking players, but never mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.